All right, guys, another day, another new possible potential love interest. It's back to date time, baby. This time with Morris. God, Cat Trigger, do not biff me on this. Last time, it wasn't as pleasant, you know, having a giant fuck all tentacle stabbed through my abdomen. Nor was it as fun uh, assisting in corrupting the entire world with the virus that is a woman. So let's see if we can uh, find somebody more or less stable about and, and is okay with, you know, being a computer simulation meant to help people uh, like me who suck at dating. Ooh, newsletter. What you got for me? Thank you for subscribing to the news library newsletter. I right, cool. Printing newsletter now. Please check library printer. Okay. Ooh. Oh my. An upcoming update to our library system. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, hello, library patrons. Thank you for subscribing to our monthly newsletter. Update to our library. Due to an increase in demand for romantic books, ooh, we have introduced a total of 20 new books to our circulation. There have been requests for romance manga to put to be put in our circulation. Librarian Jerry has taken a gander at what a manga is and is determined to <laughs> and it is determined to be some kind of comic book god. As it is common knowledge, comic books are not real books <laughs> and therefore have no place in a proper library. Oh, spicy take. Technology news. As per requests of many patrons, we have introduced many new games as well, including a plethora of ed edutainment for children ages 4 to 10. We also hear you and have ordered the remaining softwares of the date time dating simulation game. Did they not see what happened with Melissa? I mean, if she's hearing me right now, there is absolutely nothing wrong. She was a lovely woman. We have just received the Morris package, and Anna will be coming through our circulation soon. Ain't that great? We would like to put out a notice that our Melissa Deska is still missing. If you have any information about the software, please. Dang, bro. Nah. Mm. Unfortunate. Yeah, okay, type command. Let's start up the date, baby. Give it to me. Disk Morris found. Cool. Executing date time now. Please hold. Cool, cool. Love to see it. You love to see it. Love this too. Welcome to date time. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Notice, this is the Morris package. If you would like to date an anyone besides Morris, please switch diskettes. Choose your potential mate. This is Anna. She's a sporty and popular girl who's all about fun and energy. I don't even know why you bring up the others if, if Morris is the only one I can date here. Wanna get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. I'm good, thanks. Maybe next time. This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She didn't touch me gently though. She loves a good book and she has always wanted to date a talented artist. I, apparently I wasn't good enough. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. She was very adamant about that. If you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. No, because I don't want to get stabbed again. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. Pause. He may love motorcycles, damn, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Oh, really? Play your cards right, and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Let's go, Morris! 
Loading scenario. Alright. Oh no! Oh crap. How did I already fuck this up? Along your pleasurable road trip, your car had taken a tumble! God! But don't worry, you are able to get it towed to a small town's mom and pop auto repair shop. Cool. Not to mention, you heard they just hired a cute new mechanic there. Why did I know this whilst on a road trip? Inside, you meet up with Joan, the co-worker of the Joan and West Auto Repair Shop. Morning, Pumpkin. Can I go on a date with her? She looks so nice. You must be James. How do you know me? We got your car in the garage and our, be and our best mechanics working on it. Okay, cool. But I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful town. What can I do in this town? Who are you? How can I go to my car? Let me actually remember that there are save slots this time. Okay. What can I do in this town? Oh, you'll love this town. It's so romantic. Love didn't see that. We have a beautiful park with a swan pond. Let me see if I can increase the text speed. Mm, message speed. Let's crank that up to max. Okay, maybe too fast. We have a, okay, yeah, Swamp Pond. And a very good ca cafe near it. Okay, I guess it's just straight to the point. I kind of liked it loading. Might I suggest the strawberry salad? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Joan. I'm co-workers with my husband, Wes. Odd way to put it, but okay. We both met each other visiting this town, and the rest is history. <laughs> Can I go to my car? You'd like to see your car? Indeed. Go down the hallway. Our new recruit, Morris, is working on it now. He might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. And I might, and might I mention, he is an Excellent poet. So, romantic. <laughs> Are you thinking of leaving your husband for this boy? <laughs> Anyways, off you go. Have fun. You walk down the hallway. When suddenly... Another explosion. You bump into a large man. He flashes a warm smile and takes a step back to greet you. Are you... Hello? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I hope I didn't scare you. Joan would give me a good talking to if that happens. <laughs> Anyways, you must be James. Hello, and welcome to our great town. Despite the circumstances. Speaking of which... Your car! It's in the hands of our newest mechanic, Morris. God, <laughs> the speed! Who is Morris? Morris? Ah, oh, well, he might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. Odd that you said the same thing as your wife. And might I mention, he is an excellent poet? Odd that you say the same thing. So, romantic. Odd! Your wife said the exact same- This might get me killed. I don't know how trigger happy this is gonna be. Your wife said the exact same thing. Did she? <laughs> oh, yes. Of course. We both love Morris. Uh, he's such a charmster. Even when he acts like he isn't. Is there some- Sort of threesome thing going on here? Because I can just grab my car and leave. I'd kind of prefer that. Anyways, I, I don't want to bore you. Have fun with Morris. In what way? You wave goodbye to the Jolly West and walk deeper into the auto repair shop. Let me stop with that voice.
So how bad is this first introduction going to be? Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Put the monkey wrench down. Whew. What a workout. I hope nobody saw me struggle on the tire iron. God, I can't cut the Western accent. What? Oh my gosh! Where did you come from? You must be the owner of this car. Uh oh. Oh no. This fool is cute. Oh god! <laughs> I mean. So you're James, huh? I'm Morse. Well, I got bad news for you. <laughs> your engine's fried. Did you even apply coolant to your car? <laughs> Figures. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck in our boring town for a couple days while we wait for the parts to arrive. Oh no, whatever shall I do? More time with you? I'm excited. Nah, save. Hold up. Before we get too eager beaver here, I ain't taking no risks. Um, uh, oh no, whatever shall I do? Now, now, if you excuse me, I gotta pry out your dead engine. Don't do anything stupid or cute, God forbid, while I am working, okay? As Morris goes back to work on your car, you spot a small written note on a desk. It says, Early Dove, a poem by Morris. <laughs> oh, God, no, wait. Okay, I guess there's, okay, only one route to this, baby. Let's go, full speed ahead. What you got for me, Morris? Date time, Early Dove by Morris. The Early Dove gets more love. You can't wait a ton to find the one. That's what I was always told, and every day without being bold. I feel that one day I'll be left in the cold. Won't someone come to me, come to be my dove? Notice, Early Dove by Morris is the intellectual property of daytime software. Do not photocopy this print. Do not post it on a public forum without a description dis distribution license. Like our games, want <laughs> more episodes of Date Time? Please submit seven dollars to Date Time Software, five 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 St. Apple Road, Cupertini, California fifty five fifty five five. Cool. <laughs> that was a. Hey, th that's mine. D don't read th that. <laughs> This your poem? It's terrible! <laughs> oh god, the amount of loaded things here! Let's save again before I die. It's... it's lovely, my guy! Oh! You... you... Like my poem? No. Nobody has... ever... Said, I feel like that is a bold faced lie. The mom and the, the the wife and husband just now, they were all about how lovely your poems were. I mean, ugh. your car will be available in a couple days. Please enjoy the town. <laughs> you thank Morris and head outside into the cold air. God, I cannot stop this summer accent, but it feels so appropriate. Next to the shop is the town's park. The trees have already shed their leaves for the winter. Oh! And the swans at the pond have migrated to the warmer climates for the season. But even so, the early winter atmosphere of this park is so fetching. And maybe a little romantic. <laughs> you sit at the bench to stare out over the beautiful landscape. When suddenly... Hi. Moore sits down next to you at the bench, reluctantly. Um, James, w would would you like to join me at the cafe for lunch? He asks reluctantly. 
I, I mean, not like a, 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 on a d d date or something. I just tsundere reluctantly. It, it's cold and winter is here. And, and you know, it, it might even snow soon. You, you should eat something to keep your, your strength up. Boy, you don't even know how strong I am. I, you you, you want to figure out that out somewhere in the bedroom? I don't know how to flirt for shit. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to be a good person. I don't doubt that. Dog, are you blushing? No. You know what? Yeah. I, you, you should, are you blushing? N no. I'm just cold. <laughs> Stop teasing me. Now, come on. I, I know a quick route. You follow Morris to the cafe. The the pacing of this is amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, it fixed itself, I guess. The cafe served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Morris sit by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park. A waiter saunters over to ask you what you would like to order. Hello, good sauntering waiter. A scrumptious panini and a delicious strawberry salad coffee with cake. I... How much did this almost get me killed last time? Because she seemed very adamant about that. Um... They... Strawberry salad was brought up. Nothing else in this... Okay, the waiter nods and turns to Morris. Saunterly. Give me a ham sandwich. The waiter smiles and walks into the kitchen, leaving both you and Morris alone at the table. Oh, you and Morris talk amongst yourselves. Morris mentioned that he likes motorcycles and that that was why he sought to get the job at Joan and West's auto shop. Maybe one day I can finally buy one and ride myself out this boring town. Morris's mood changes when he reminds himself of the job. You are giving a lot of Sebastian vibes from Stardew Valley. I'm gonna be real with you. But also a bashful, um, what's the poet's name? God, it eludes me. Moving on. It's good to make money, right? I just wish Joan and Wes were nicer people. Oh, are they not? They seemed li to like you. I'm sorry to hear. Never know which will get me killed. They, yeah, they seem to like you, bro. What? All day they just yell at me about my job. Then they make fun of me for working on poetry. I'm just a disappointment to them. Aw, oh, for real? They, I'm sorry to hear. They said nice things to me about you. Y you know, let's just continue. That's very surprising. Wish they'd say it to me directly, though. Oh well. I didn't mean to bag you down, to bog you down on my, on my own troubles, James. But thank you for listening. Uh, th thank you for reading my poetry, by the way. I I'm still a little embarrassed by the writing, but. If you would like to, I can share you. I, I can share you more. I, I feel like instead of a southern, it, it should be more oo-woo talk, you know? N not because I like you like that, oo-woo. <laughs> but, but you may have a, a good eye for writing. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. Ha-ha. Chuckle even more. You nod in excitement to read more of Morris's poetry. <laughs> Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. Both you, both of you dig into the food as the sun sets over the beautiful town. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh. Okay. You awake to the late morning sun at the town's bed and breakfast. J&W, the days are getting colder in the town. You shiver a bit before traveling to the auto shop to check your vehicle. You reach the front counter where Joan is waiting for you, smiling. 
Is she? What? You reach the front counter, where Joan is waiting for you, smiling. Um... So did I already fuck this? Nothing but cold... Res Wes! Wes! Stick to the plan! Stick to my plan! It's gonna work! It's gonna... Wait. Can they read what we said? <laughs> Morning, pumpkin! <laughs> I hope you had a great night at our famous B&B. What were you speaking to Wes about? Sure did. <laughs> hey, yo, what, what, what's your... I'm gonna break straight up the floor. What, what were you speaking to Wes about, man? Oh, no. You overheard us. Do I have to die now? Do I know too much? Well, might as well tell you the truth. We're giving Morris a surprise gift for being such a great employee. Are you really? Shh, don't, don't ruin the surprise. Just keep being a cool person to him. Just keep being a cool person. Okay. Speaking of which, Morris has been talking so much about you lately. Perhaps it isn't because he likes you? Oh. Maybe you like him too? <laughs> uh, the shoehorning. Uh, you know, we'll see. We still up for debate. Now, James, I think it's best for all of us if you always give people a chance. I'm giving him a chance. We'll see. Especially a beautiful poet like Morris. <laughs> Anyways... Go down the hallway to check on your car. Morris has been looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> God. You continue down the hallway only to once again. A perf. Kapow. Bump straight into Wes. Oh, whoa there, partner. What's the rush? Morris isn't going anywhere. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, God. How was the breakfast at the B&B? Delicious, I bet. Sometimes, I buy a bed there just so I can eat Granny Ann's eggs. Or is it to avoid your wife? <laughs> oh! Anyways, I hope Morris hasn't been too good with you. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you love his poetry? Your eyes right now... <laughs> Wait, wait, hold up. You, you, <laughs> hold up. I didn't even, I, okay, I love his poetry too. Me and Joan sometimes get so sad that not enough people hear Morris's amazing poetry. If only there was a way to send it to everyone's computer all at once. Is that the route this is going down? Wonder if that technology exists. Oh, forgive me for boring you. You know, if Morris doesn't kill me, I feel the producers of this game will, considering on the thing it specifically says not to send this out en masse, I feel someone will assassinate me for that. Forgive an old foggy fo fogy fo fo -gay like me for rambling on. Go down the hall to check your car. Morris is waiting for you. <laughs> you walk further in towards the garage. Okay. Ooh, how glitchy is this going to make the, my computer? You arrive to the garage, but Morris isn't anywhere. Oh, shit. You peek out at desk near your car and see something written on a notepad. Well, excuse me, why is another poem? Why? It's another poem from Morris! Exclamation mark times three. Print out the poem to read. Let's see this. Ha! Is this gonna go down the route of goddamn, um, Doki Doki? Is this gonna be real dark? Date time. I wish I could tell them by Morris. What if they don't like me? I dare not even speak. Can't express my love precisely. I feel rather meek. <laughs> what 
Warning, daytime software suggests at least two kilobytes of RAM to run. You are low. Please close other applications. I wish I could tell them by Morse is the intellectual property of daytime software. Do not photocopy this print. Do not post it on a public forum without a distribution license. Yeah, I feel I will straight up get assassinated if I even attempt this. Like our games? Want more episodes of Daytime? Please submit $7 to Daytime Software. 555 St. Apple. Can anybody read this? Please help. Please help. Just connect to the internet to send hi Cupertino, Cupertino California 94024. Well, that's a strange address, but Coolio. You know what? I may very well donate to that. Co oh! James. I didn't notice you. I, I was out to check on some tools. Oh, hey, you, you didn't read that, did you? It, it's still a draft. I was experimenting. P please, don't judge me so harshly. <laughs> what a beautiful poem. This poem may need some work. You're terrible. You should quit. Uh, you know... Let's let's just save it for now. What a beautiful poem. It needs some work. It's it's you know, let's give him You tell Morris that his poem touches your heart. I didn't say all that now. And that you think he's incredibly he's incredible as a person. Again, didn't say that. But let's go with it. Yeah. Oh. Th thank you. Ah. Uh, I didn't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I wish I had met you earlier. Someone who could encourage me to do more. <laughs> I have so much, so many feelings in my head. You're the first person to ever encourage me to grow. Pause. I have so much to, to think about. Let's meet up again later today. After work, ooh-woo, you bid your farewell and travel back outside. Off to the chilly but beautiful park. Oh, yes, indeed. I feel at this rate, I'm going to be ooh to death. You walk peacefully along the swan pond in the park, daydreaming of your time with Morris. The town is a beautiful town, but you understand Morris's predicament. The shop, park, cafe, and swamp pond were sights to see. But Morris lived here his entire life. Eventually, everyone thirsts for adventure. Like, this is just giving major Sebastian vibes. You thought about your own travels. And how your road trip had granted you many adventures. Well, fair. Perhaps... Uh... Huh. Am I about to go on a whole thing where I take Morris with me to a lifelong adventure? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. As you are lost in thought, you see Morris approaching you. Saunterly. <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome, date. Hey, 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 no, no. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, morning, pumpkin. You must be quite Okay, can you believe this idiot wants to be a pup? Okay. Oh, the winter saunter! Oh! 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 I need a moment. <laughs> oh! Oh! God damn! Burr! What the fuck? It's, it's getting cold here. I'm telling you, it might even snow soon. Come on, James. Let's warm up with some coffee at the cafe. I thought that sentence was going to go somewhere else. You smile and walk with Morris through the breezy park to the shimmering lights of the cafe. Don't pull nothing on me now. Chill. A gust of warmth hugs you as you walk into the heated cafe. Morris pulls a seat for you at the same corner. 
Uh, the way the waiter saunters, saunters, just a little bit to you, lack to odor. Go! Mmm! Ah! Just a bit of push out of my hand, or I hey, hey now. Ooh! I feel I need to look around here in real life. Ah, I, I recall. Mm, raw bush club, a scrumptious panini. Ah, uh, a scrumptious panini. Action achieved. Really? Oh dear. The waiter nods and turns to. Do you see this? Do you see what is happening? Uh, <laughs> I'll have another ham sandwich. Uh, the waiter smiles and wakes the kitchen. Leave him by you, Morris alone at the table. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, I am so fascinated by you, James. Uh, I, I mean, in a completely platonic w way, Uwu Sundare Nuzzle. Such as, why are you on this road trip? Adventure. I'm looking for, oh, I'm looking for, yeah. Save? Look, I'm saving for every goddamn decision now. Because it seems I've already fucked up. Adventure. Adventure? Wow! I'm so jealous to see someone like you that steps out and just, you know, just does it, Shia LaBeouf style. This must be what freedom feels like, huh? Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. You both talk more as you dig in. Is a knife gonna be dug into my chest later? The sun shines outwards as you walk outside from the bed and breakfast. You wave Granny Ann goodbye as you walk towards the shop. Oh, another morning, another possible atrocity. J and W, it's warm today, but there may not be many of these days left until the winter matures. And until I'm left nothing more than a cold, decaying corpse, you walk in and you walk inside to check on your car. Oh, morning, pumpkin. <laughs> Good morning. Is our little town warming up to you? Because it's warm out? <laughs> uh, we got an update that your parts will be in tomorrow. I gotta be here one more day? I mean, lovely. Uh, meaning your car will be up and ready in no time after that. Such great news. Speaking of news, uh, I was just reading about this thing called the Information Superhighway. Where is this going? It's something you can dial into and share things with other people through your own computer device. I feel like so far there's a pattern of me just being used. I feel that's a bit obvious, but like, why is it? Why? Why? Why is my happiness never at the forefront? Why do I have to be the catalyst for everybody else's success? I wonder what type of things people like you could share to the world. Anyways, run down and check on your car and Morris before you spend a warm day in our town. Uh, your husband, as you rush towards your car, smack a poop. Oh, whoops, not again. <laughs> oh, whoa, James. We, we gotta stop meaning like that. At this rate, you'll give me a sprain. <laughs> I hope Joan gave you the good news. Are you excited to get back to driving tomorrow? Uh, not until I get my... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? 
Not, yeah, I am, but not until I get my smooch. Well, James, that's very flattering. <laughs> you want to kiss me, bro? But I unfortunately am taken. And, oh, I mean, oh, you mean Morris. Uh, you know, I don't have to mean Morris, you know. You know, we could just, uh... Moving on. In due time, my friend. Speaking of which, let me ask you something. We've been discussing this surprise gift for Morris. And we realized, surely, no surprise gift would be good enough for Morris. Oh dear, why, why are you looking to your, to your left like that? Except love from a great person like you. Are, am I your sacrifice? Let me be straight up with you. Are, am I a sacrifice here? And also being able to spread his artwork through the entire, th th throughout the entire world. You ever heard of this thing called the Information Superhighway? In fact, I just heard it from your wife. Yes, Joan mentioned this. Uh, Joan mentioned, so yeah. So she did. Both of us read the same newspaper. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit too old to understand all this technology stuff. But I wonder if maybe someone like you could figure it out for us. <laughs> oh, uh, off you go then. You continue down the hallway towards your car. Oh dear. Morris spots you and waves. Wave back or smile back. He didn't smile though. He waved. Okay. Uh. 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 uh, uh return reciprocation. Equal value. Wave back, baby. Morris walks over. Well, James. I'm sure J and W told you about your parts. Excuse me. You'll finally be able to get out of this boring town. Ha. <laughs> but I want to stay with you. I'll miss you. Uh, okay, if I say I miss you, that's gonna insinuate that I'm not cutting. But I wanna stay with you reluctantly against possibly my will. You, you don't wanna do that. Besides, you'll get bored of this town like I have. Tell you what, let's meet up at the cafe one last time after work. It'll be my treat. And there, and then maybe we could uh, um, take a stroll in the park in the evening. Since this could be one of the last warm days. Won't it be colder in the evening then, just logically speaking? You nod in agreement and bid him farewell until his shift ends. So, how scared am I going to get this time? I'm ready for you. Try me. You sit at your favorite corner and stare out the window. There, you wave to Morris as he comes inside. Pause. Hello, James. I hope you haven't gotten tired of the food here yet. <laughs> uh, the waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Oh, hey, how about have some of these? Okay. Oh, I can't even save here. Okay. Let's have some warm. How about coffee with cake? The waiter smiles in. Entity not found. Mmm. The food here was delicious. Oh, we just time skipped. That's lovely. <coughs> Morris takes a sip of his coffee, and you both get up to explore the warm evening. Okay. I don't... Hmm. See now, okay, it's late night, this is dangerous, I feel I'm gonna get stabbed in the balls. The romantic moonlight shines upon you and Morris. Morris, shyly, saunterly, locks ah, his eyes on you. Ooh, woo. James, tell me, woo. James, if you could do anything, what would it be? I would do art. I would do sports. I'd be with you. 
Uh, uh, you know, shaven. Shaven just for, um, let's see. Logically speaking, sports has only ever gotten me killed so far. Let's be honest. Art? That seems like a safe bet. But I feel, I, I think Melissa called me a liar for that before. You know, unartistic and shit. Let's go with be with you. I'd be with you. Wait, no. What if that sounds like I can't be with him? Shit. Art, maybe it'll pan out differently for me. Art? Oh my gosh, you're an artist? I should have known since you had such interest in my poetry, ooh-woo nuzzle. Uh, I had never met someone like you before, uh, twiddling fingers. Moore stares off into the moonlight. You follow his gaze. I grew up in this small town. Where are your parents? I'll admit it, it's pretty. But I have a yearning to go on an adventure. I want to do so much more in my life than get yelled at by a married couple in an auto shop. <laughs> I'd like to drive from town to town around the world and share people my own experiences. My poetry. And I'd like to share that adventure with you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Silly thoughts in my head. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, James. Maybe I'll find the words to say it tomorrow. Take care, James. You hug Morris goodbye. Well, hey! What the heck are you doing? James! Too forward! Sundere! Thank you. I liked that. You were warm. Pause. Ah! One more thing. Smooch time? Morris hands you a piece of paper. I, uh, was working on a new poem about, uh, love and stuff. But it's, it's super rough draft, so please don't judge harshly. But I hope you will like it. <laughs> you smile and nod and lock eyes with Morris for one last moment before parting ways. Um, uh, cutely. Uh, print out poem to read. Okay. How, how menacing is this going to be? <clears throat> is there going to be blood on it? This is feeling very- Oh, God! Oh! Holy moly! Oh, crazy! Really? That's a lot to read. I'm a speed reader, but even for me, that's quite a... Oh! Oh! Interesting. Memory exceeded. Application cannot execute correct process. By Morris. <laughs> Memory exceeded. Application cannot execute correct process. Is it just gonna... Oh! Like our memory, oh, intellectual property of date time software. Do not put, uh, do not post it public. Like our memory exceeded. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Interesting. Fascinating. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. I have a partial save of Melissa still in the system. <laughs> Log into Kubernetes to see. Oh, Lottie, have mercy. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. You know, I'm going to be real with you. Just Monica looking mad tame right now. Interesting. Oh, my. What an amazing poem. So much longer than the other two as well. No, it isn't. Not like there's an easy way to search for it. Oh. Interesting. Ah. You have another great morning at the bed and breakfast. You return the keys back to Granny Ann and bid her farewell. Goodbye, Granny Ann. I feel this may be the last you see me 
on this world, on this mortal plane. Off you walk towards the auto shop. Okay, this is... They really upped the ante from Melissa, I'ma say that. <laughs> uh, JNW. Let's not. Let's not. Oh, we just speed in a morning pumpkin. Ah. We got good news. Your car is fixed. You're ready to go. Isn't that grand? We hope you enjoyed our beautiful town. But before you go, let me tell you one last thing about Morris. Oh, hey. Fuck. It hurts so bad. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, don't. Worry about me, James. Talk to Wes. Just gotta freshen up in the restroom. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, so is this like straight up a just Monica scenario where Morris is just, uh, oh, oh, not bumping into me this time? Okay. Didn't bump into me that time. You finally built an instinct, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, you ready to get back on the road? Talk to Morris and he'll set you up. Have a safe trip. Oh, uh, no, wait, James, listen to me, I'm sure you like Morris a lot, usually how this ends is that once Morris fixes your car, you propose to drive with him into the sunset as lovers, I mean, lots of questions why you'd want to do that to someone you only know for three days, but... Uh, agreed. Let me tell you. Morris is... Uh, what, dot, dot, dot. What I mean is... You know how slow a car is? You'd hardly be able to leave the state by the end of the week. But thanks to technology and technological advancements, we know of a way that both of you, both of you can travel fast. Connect to the internet. Your computing device is equipped with a 28K modem. Morris will be able to finally leave our small and boring town at breakneck speed. Why don't you consider that? Just send him off. He needs to see the world. He... Oh! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Ah. Ah, you waltz into the garage and Morris waves and walks up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I need to be prepared for this. Ah, BRB. Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm honestly kind of scared to go anywhere by myself right now. Not until I finish this. Okay. <laughs> you waltz into the garage. Oh, God. And Morris waves and walks up to you. Okay. Let's just... James! Okay. I have some great news. Do you now? The parts came in this morning, and I was able to quickly put everything together for your car. 
It's as good as new. You're off to the races. It's been an amazing couple of days speaking with you. You know, I just now noticed this guy isn't much of a bad boy. Is he torturing everyone? Is that what makes him a bad lad? Is that where this is going? And I just wanted to say th that, that you've been a g great company these few days. And, oh, what's the use? I can't hide it anymore. Ugh, James, I have feelings for you. Ooh, woo. You've made me grow and become more confident in my poetry. Okay. And now, instead of being embarrassed to show people my poetry, I want it. I want to show the world one day. But not just that. And I want to spend more time with you. You expressed the same thing to Morris, reluctantly. That you had always had a crush on him since you read his first poem, reluctantly. You, you like me too? Reluctantly. Oh my gosh! I, I don't know what to say. I feel like a knife. Or, you know, massive fuck-all tentacle is being pressed against my abdomen again. You know, I just have that sense right now. But, but, this is your last day here, isn't it? What would we be able to do now that we've told each other our feelings? Join me on my road trip. Let's go through the internet to showcase your poetry. <laughs> uh, oh. Um... Okay, two options. Go down what I'm assuming is the normal answer route, or go down the shoehorn answer route that I uh, that apparently is like the best option or something. Am I gonna die if I just say road trip? Uh, let's see. Wh what? Really? You would like me to join you to travel? Oh, James, I would love to. You hug Morris and look deeply into his eyes. Ooh woo. Oh, James, I never thought this could happen. Yeah, look up at me, because I am taller. Thank you, James, for showing me new things. Here's your smooch. Oh. Oh, and so began your new relationship with Morris. You win. Thank you for playing date time and enjoy your trip. How badly south how how bad south is this gonna go now? Is it going to immediately go to tentacles? <laughs> tentacles immediately exiting game now. Immediately to tentacles? Is it gonna be t uh, machines this time? No! Not like this! Not when we were this close. You're gonna do it right. Get in here. Oh! Shit! Oh! Oh, baby, no! Oh, Lord! Okay. We good? We clean? Joan, we talked about this. Nailed down. Nailed down the legs. Oh. We can't risk James running away. Hey, now. But, but, do it now, Wesley. Oh, fuck. Shit, mother of God. I can't believe I did that. Looks like that woke our little player up. Oh, shit. Hey, listen. Okay. Morning, pumpkin. Did you have a good nap? J James, I... Look, we're not bad people. It's just... Uh, it's just that your new boyfriend 
is destroying our town. Y yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> My legs. My legs. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, frack. Oh, frick, frack. It's the schnick snack. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. Did I break the game? Oh, dear. Ooh, no. Ooh, doggy. Exit. Reimburse. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. Do I gotta reload this? Oh, dear. Yeah, possibly gotta reload. Bear with me here. You know, you shatter my legs, so he's destroying the town. Is he like a virus? Does he know what he's doing? Is this, is this all on purpose? You guys kind of just nailed me to this thing. Like, uh, and I don't know. Okay, good, it's saved. Loading up. Join me on a road trip, yeah! Hold up, let me just, uh, to make things a bit faster, yeah. Just immediately load it up, yeah. Wait, uh, settings. Skip mode? Read only. Everything. Okay. Um... Excuse me. Okay, cool. Exit game now. Cool, 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 cool. Yup, nope, not like this. Now when you get in here, yup, okay, drag into the computer. Yup, mm-hmm, dope, delicious, tasty, you love to see it. And I'm about to get Jesus Christ on the, on a bench here. Ah, oh, sweet mother of pearl. Okay, yup, what's poppin', guys? How y'all doing? Joan, you're fucked up. Wes, how is this your wife? Uh, what's going on here? Ah, oh, my legs! I I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's just that we have to make sure you help us. Uh, we're literally going to kill you painfully if you do not help us. <laughs> uh, honey, that's scary. Well, they gotta hear the truth. <laughs> Morris is... Uh, uh, Morris is a monster. Oh dear, he's badly programmed. Each time a new game is played, Morris's memories get wiped of his past experiences. However, that wipe doesn't actually delete the damn memory properly. The partial memory just slides back into him, pause, corrupting him, and turning him into something else. This typically wouldn't be a problem. You know, because most people just play our game once or twice after they get their stupid smooch. But since we know we're being played on a shared library computer, 433 playthroughs to be exact. The half-deleted memories started to corrupt him. Ugh. And he spread it, if you haven't noticed. Not even four kilobytes of RAM could maintain all this. And you're and you've probably seen it, haven't you? Ah, chill, chill. The terrible power of Morris. He's not just unwittingly eating up this town. He's spreading into your world too. Ow. Your boring, terrible world. Without our scrumptious paninis. Indeed. Hey. Player 433, you still with us? 
Oh my gosh, did I hit an artery or something? Damn it, Wesley! What does this have to do with me? Yeah, let me just go ahead and save up again. Still not doing that, okay, cool. Well, guess I can't save on this part. I guess every decision I make is gonna be final. And I will die here. Artery bleeding. Blood clots flowing. What the hell, though? So this is just fourth wall breaking now. Joan, why are you such a bitch, though? I am thoroughly sorry, my good fellow Wesley. You deserve better. Gonna say that now. <laughs> okay. Join me on a road trip. Yeah, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Skip through. Yep, yep. Okay, why is this the bad ending, though? So because this is the proper ending we go through, it resets again? Is that why? If if I'm understanding this correctly. And they're just tired. You couldn't wait for the 434th player to do this, too? Why does it gotta be me? Why do I have to be singled out, huh? Damn it. Okay, but, okay. Wesley, you, you sweet... Aw, oh, shit! Every time! Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Not so bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. My leg, though. My fucking leg. Thank you for caring, though, Wes. Appreciate that. Joan, you're being kind of an asshole here. Not gonna lie. Okay, so this whole corruption thing. How the hell am I supposed to fix that? Especially considering you now pulled me in here with you guys. And, you know, nailed my fucking leg. And possibly hit an artery. Hurtful, you know. Very hurtful. Yeah, without your delicious paninis, indeed. But, um... But Morris is a good boy. What does this have to do with me? I feel it's kind of obvious what it has to do with me. I kind of... But Morris is a good boy. Oh my god, they said Morris is a good boy. Good boy? Wes, I'm sorry. Your good boy literally just ate the waiter at the cafe? Oh! How am I going to get my strawberry salad now? <laughs> Priorities, man. I'm sorry, James. But you really should have done what we told you. I'm sorry. You should have opened the internet and sent him away from this computer. The town's breaking at the seams now. This is our last chance. Why can't you transfer him to a diskette? If you send him out on the internet, wouldn't he infect other computers? Have you tried talking to him? I feel this answer would obviously just straight up get me killed. If you send him out, yeah, wouldn't that infect others? Look, James, we either keep him here and not just destroy this town, but possibly destroy your town or save our own hides. We don't have a choice. You just gave a choice. You got friends in your area, right? Don't you care for them? I mean, yeah. They're playing a dating game. Okay, how about family? <laughs> oh God. Why can't you transfer him to a diskette? Can't. The software locks down if it detects diskette transfer. Stupid copy protection. Not no such thing for the internet, though. Have you tried talking to him? Like we said before, he loses his memory every time someone resets the dating scenario. And now we're out of time. You are our last date. Sorry, James. A time for a peaceful intervention is over. Oh! Oh shit, guys, okay, let's talk about this. Enough questions! Put the wrench down, you're gonna do exactly what we tell you. First, go back to Morris. Secondly, convince him to use the internet to leave. Thirdly, Take our diskette out and... Oh, oh shit, Wes, what's happening? 
Uh, Joan? What, Wesley? The corruption. It's appearing here again. Wait, already? Is it spreading faster, or...? He's close to... Uh. Oh, shit! Joan? Wes? Are you there? Oh, God. What? But I gave him the day off! I've been looking for Jane's everywhere. Is that car still here? Uh, okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, we put a blanket over Jane's. We then tell Morris James went to the park. After he leaves, we can strategize a... Ugh. Oh, shit. Morris. Oh, sup. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Oh, dot, dot. Just nothing but dots. Hey, you two. I was wondering if... Oh! I don't like that movement that you just... Mm? James? Oh my gosh, what is happening here? Uh, you know, it's just some... Me, I'm trying out new avenues. What did you do to James? Uh, nothing, look. Me and Wesley over here, we're trying some new things. It's, you're not older. Maybe we'll, we'll tell you when you're older, you know. It's all good now, though. Don't worry about it. This nail in my leg, it's all part of the foreplay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Up, uh, Joan. Morris, I need you to leave right now. You saw nothing here. You can't do this to people. Joan. The shop. Morris, I'm warning you. Do as I say. I'm your boss. No. I won't let you hurt James any further. Oh, dear now. Oh, dear me. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. We're doomed. We're all doomed. That's it. Let's bash Morris's head in before he turns again. Oh god, what? Uh, Joe, no, he, he's too powerful. Get away from me. Oh dang, what are you do? Why, why are you doing this? Okay, Joe, stop. You're going to make him. You stand still, you little. Joe, no! Oh, oh God! Oh shit! Wes? <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh Joe, Joe! <laughs> what did I? Do! Oh, oh, my Joan! You killed my Joan! Wes, please, I, I didn't. I'm going to kill you, Morris! Wes, please, no! No, shit, no! Wes! wasn't Morris's fault. Oh, fuck. It was yours. Oh, fuck. Oh, you did this. James. You took away everything. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn. They really stepped their game up after Melissa. I mean, at least there's not a tentacle through my abdomen. J James? 
please wake up. Am I about to see some gory ass um fucking Scarface type shit? Please. Oh shit. I mean it's snowing now. <laughs> it's snowing data. Please. James. Oh thank goodness. You lost a lot of blood. I tried to patch you up. Oh god, I was so worried that they you know. Hey, would you look at that? It's finally snowing. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh. I know it's not snow. I'm sorry. I found J and W's plan about me when I broke into their office to get the first aid kit for you. And it... I... This is a simulation, isn't it? Like... Some kind of dating thing? There's been hundreds of people who dated me and loved me and encouraged me to do my poetry. And every single time a new person comes in, my brain just... <laughs> just resets. I don't remember any of them. And not just... Not just that. I, I'm sick. Something inside me is destroying this world. And it has the capacity to destroy yours as well. That's why J and W always hated me, didn't they? That's why everyone is afraid of me. I, I thought... I thought... It was maybe because... I was weak. I wasn't tough enough. But that's why... I act this way, but... Oh gosh. If I had known, I'd rather it be that... <laughs> oh fuck, god damn it! Ah! This is gonna get me killed. Hug the boy. Hug the poor cinnamon roll! James? Oh, James. T thank you. For some re oh, action achieved. For some reason. Even though I thought I hugged you before. That one felt more real. Is it because I'm in the game? <laughs> I didn't want to let it go. But... Please, for your own safety, I don't know what I'll turn into. <laughs> Joan and Wes's plan was to send me out into the internet, huh? They knew it could mean I could- I would spread to other computers. Maybe a couple, maybe a hundred, maybe all of them. But if it meant that- if it meant they could save their own little town, they were willing to jeopardize everyone in your world. It was monster- maybe that's a good idea, buddy. <laughs> Look around you, James. Town's already gone. There's nothing left but you and me. And I'm the one causing it. So. <laughs> Maybe it's the revelation that my entire life was a lie, but. If 433 people came to me, liked me enough to encourage me to work on my poetry, and liked me enough to want to date me. Have me come out of my shell. <laughs> That's 433 more people out there in your world that showed me love than anybody here. That world is worth saving. You are worth saving. I'm going to muster all my energy to send you back out this computing device. <laughs> and I'll contain the spread of the corruption here. It should be easy, right? I'm a mechanic. 
the computer is a machine. So, uh, here goes nothing, right? I'll see you on the other side. Smooch, Morris. Come here, baby. You're, you're not leaving without a kiss. Action achieved, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope when I turn into a corpor co corrupted pixel monster, I still remember you. Goodbye, James. It worked. You're back in your world. Thank you very much for everything, James. Don't worry about me. As long as nobody plays this game again. Oh, fuck. Uh, is that... Is that happening on your end? No. Wait. Are you telling me that the corruption had already spread to your printer? And you kept playing this simulation to smooch me? <laughs> oh god, oops. Come on, you were too cute. Dog. Down bad. Oh wait, hold up. Return. Quick save. Come on, you were too cute. Aw. Oh, I think you're very cute too. Wait, no, that's not the point here. But, uh, th this problem. Uh, okay. Stay calm. I have a plan. First, do you, uh, have the number to an IT professional? Oh, God. Uh, do you know Melissa by any chance? In fact, I do. She stabbed me through the abdomen with the fuck all tentacle. I think she probably knows more about computers. Story Art and Game by Cat Trigger. Dog. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, mind you, a much better ending than Melissa. Morris is actually sweet. I appreciate that. You know, music, dope, additional voices from, you know, that's the, mm. Dog. A super big thank you to all the people who reached out with their comments, playthroughs, fan art, and more based on the original Melissa game. Y'all awesome. You inspire me to make better games each time. I'm glad. Loosely inspired by the computer virus of the same name. Really? <laughs> Librarian Jerry. After story? Let's go! What's going on, Martha? Librarian Martha. I've been searching for this stupid Melissa diskette for days, Jerry. At this point, I think it's been stolen. You could always check my Melissa save file on the library system computer. So he's played too. Interesting. Yeah? How? Just boot up the computer like you would play the Morris game. And log in using the administrator username. Oh yeah? Well, what's the username? It's a seven-letter word, starting with K. Let me write it down for you. I swear to God, Jerry. If this is something based from that dumb cartoon show. <laughs> is this a reference? Yeah. Go back to checkpoint. Uh, quick load. Oops. Okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, do you have a number to an IT professional? Okay, yeah. So it's just that, okay. Um, do you know Melissa by chance? I think she, yeah. How about load? Let's see how this goes. The... what? What is that? Oh, the internet? Internet? You think I'd be able to show everyone my poetry far and wide? Oh, James. 
it's worth a shot. Thank you again, James. I will always treasure this moment. I feel like the game company is gonna assassinate me for this. Okay, let's see where this goes, baby. Mm hmm. Oh, Daniela. So computer mail is like real mail, but instant. <sighs> It's not computer mail, Mom. It's email. And it's so much faster. You can talk to so many people with it. Oh, oh what's this? Wow! Wow, somebody sent you a new mail already. Mm hmm Poetry by Morris. Open it up! Okay. Hello, world! My name is Morris. Excuse me. Thanks to a great person named James. Hi, how you doing? I have come to realize my dream to share. I have come to realize my dream to share my poetry around the world. <sighs> what is this? Huh? I think it's a mass email. Must have been sent to everyone in town. I hope everyone that has received this email enjoys my favorite poem. <clears throat> Uh, the early dub gets more love. What's coming out of the monitor? M Mom, that's not normal. You can't wait a ton to find the one. Run, Mom! Run! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh! God! System error. A fatal exception. Production code 7G02 has occurred and the current world will be terminated. Press any key to terminate the current application. Shit. Log in as admin, all caps, to investigate problem. Admin note. 22 points plus triple word score. Plus 50 points for using all my letters. Game's over. I'm out of here. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was a far darker ending. I mean, at least Wes gets to live, right? Wes, best boy? Yeah. All right, that. That was dope. <laughs> Cat Trigger, shout out to you. Holy crap. That was... Leagues of improvement to Melissa. Not to say Melissa was bad, but holy shit, you can definitely see the improvement. The, like, just in horror aspect alone. Christ, that was actually genuinely terrifying. Wow. Okay, um, cannot wait for the next one. Whoever that is. Um, I think Hannah, N Nora, something like that. Definitely can't wait for that to come out. Um,. But yeah, till next time. Holy crap. Th that was amazing.